Hello everyone, welcome to the Django tutorial series. In this tutorial step, we are going to set up an Ubuntu Desktop 20.04 LTS in Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, also known as EC2. Let's first move to Security Groups under the VPC Management Console. I'm going to create a new security group for our EC2 instance. I will name it Ubuntu Desktop SG. Under inbound rules, make sure you are able to connect to the instance through SSH. It's a secure shell protocol to connect securely to our remote servers. I've made sure that it accepts connections from my IP address. Next, I will be adding one more rule, accepting connections from my IP address in port 8443. Just hang on for a while. I will explain what is the use of this port 8443. After adding the information, I will click on Create Security Group. There are many ways to securely connect to your instances. For example, a Bastion host which is a special purpose computer on a network specifically designed and configured to withstand attacks. Security is a big topic and it's an endless debate, but I would definitely recommend following a defense in depth approach and principle of least privilege. If you're interested to know more about AWS security and compliance, please follow the link shown in the screen. Our security group has successfully been created. Now I will move forward to edit the inbound rules for Postgres Django Security Group. I will make sure to add Ubuntu Desktop SG in the inbound rules to accept requests in the port 5432. I will finally click on Save Rules. As you can see, the security group has two rules attached, one accepting connections from the EC2 instance, and the second from an IP address, which is actually my public IP address. But as you know, the DB instance is running in a private subnet, so you can't connect directly from the public internet. If you want to, you can remove the IP address because it's not gonna work. We are now done with the security groups. Now I will navigate towards the EC2 console where I'm going to spin up our server. I will click on the launch instance. I now search for Ubuntu desktop in AWS Marketplace. For this tutorial, I will be using Ubuntu desktop 20.04 LTS with NVIDIA gaming drivers, which is provided by Nice DCV. Nice DCV is a high performance remote display protocol. It lets you securely deliver remote desktops and application streaming from any cloud or data center to any device over varying network conditions. By using Nice DCV with Amazon EC2, you can run graphics intensive applications remotely on Amazon EC2 instances. It's mostly used with high-performance computing HP, HPC workloads. Nice DCV supports both Windows and Linux remote environments. Native clients can support up to four monitors at 4K resolution each. There's no additional charge to use Nice DCV on Amazon EC2. You pay only for the EC2 resources you use to run and store your workloads. To know more about Nice DCV, please follow the link shown on the screen. As you can see on my screen, the software provides a free trial for five days, but you will still pay for the underlying instance. As we are going to use gaming drivers, we need to use the GPU instance provided by AWS. 
GPU instances are not provided to every user. You might need to create a support request to AWS for provisioning a GPU instance. For this tutorial, I will be using a g4dn.xlarge instance, which provides four virtual CPUs and 16 gigs of RAM. I will click on Configure Instance Details. Make sure to choose Django VPC in the network dropdown. I will choose the public subnet ap-south-1a where our server will be launched. Make sure to enable auto assign public IP. Next, I will click on add storage. I will provide 150 gigabytes for my instance store volume as an arbitrary disk space. I would recommend creating a separate block storage where you can store your critical data and perform backups. Instance storage is also called ephemeral drives, which provide temporary block level storage and there is higher risk of losing your data. Next, I will click on Add Tags. I will provide a tag name. Tags enable you to categorize your AWS resources. You can skip it if you don't require it. I will click on Security Group. I choose an existing security group, Ubuntu Desktop SG, which I've already created. As you can see, the port 8443 will be used to connect to our desktop through Nice DCV client. Everything looks good. I click on Review and Launch, and finally click on Launch. I don't have any key pair or a private key file to connect to our instances, so I will create a new one. I will name it as Django AWS and click on Download Key Pair. After that, I click on Launch Instances. It will take a few minutes to create our new instance. You can see on my screen now that our instance has been successfully created and it's in the running state. I now go to nice-dcv.com where I'll be downloading and installing the Nice DCV client for Windows. They also have clients for Linux and Mac OS. After successfully installing the Nice DCV client on my machine, I connect to my EC2 instance and set the password, which is required to connect to the instance through this Nice DCV client. As you can see, I've connected to my EC2 instance through PuTTY. There are multiple ways to connect to your EC2 instance, which you might have already been aware of. If not, you can follow the link shown on the screen which will guide you to connecting to your EC2 instances. I'm now successfully authenticated. I will move forward setting up my new password by writing the command sudo password ubuntu. Ubuntu is the username. Okay, the password has been set successfully. I'll move forward, updating my Ubuntu systems packages. Once the system has been updated, I will close the terminal.
Now I will copy my public IPv4 address of my instance and paste it in the nice DCV client. The port number is optional, but make sure the port 8443 is open to accept connections, as you already saw before in our security group. I will click on Trust for agreeing to these security exceptions. I would recommend following the nice DCV documentation for hardening the server. Now I'm going to provide the username and password and click on Login. Okay, we have successfully connected to our Ubuntu desktop and this looks amazing. Let me try to run the application in full screen mode. If you observe the background wallpaper clearly, pixels are filling up. This is because NiceDCV encrypts and transports pixels, not data. I would recommend checking out the video uploaded by AWS reInvent 2019 Remote Desktop and Application Streaming with NiceDCV. I will provide the link in the description. In the upcoming video, I will show how to set up Django and create our new PyCharm project inside our Ubuntu desktop.